a little hot in here. <laughs> What's going on? It's Jeremiah Alexis, a.k.a. The Urban Legend, and you are here for another episode of the EDM Weekly on CoolFlame.com. The mysterious producer known as Burial is releasing a new EP on December 16th on Hyperdub. Burial, a.k.a. South Londoner William Bevan, was completely anonymous for two years in the midst of releasing two critically acclaimed albums, Burial and Untrue. He has since revealed himself to the world and released collaborations with Massive Attack and Fortet, but the man still does no music videos, no interviews, and there are maybe two pictures of him on the interweb. Now in today's world, that is pretty fucking impressive. What the f it appears we have a music controversy on our hands. Man-child Justin Bieber is Jack and Beeb's son. Turns out the Beeb's new tune, Roller Coaster, is a slowed down sonic match to Swedish house producer Eric Pride's piano. Check out the two side by side and tell me what you make. I believe we have a controversy on our hands. That is almost as bad as a one night stand taking video of you while you sleep. Now that, that is scary. Yukimi Nagano, the lead singer of Little Dragon, has one of the most distinct voices in electronic music today. And, real talk, is one of the nicest people I've ever met in the game. We had a chance to catch up over the summer, and we chatted a little bit about how things have vastly changed for her since our first interview in 2010. Check it out. I'm with Miss Yukimi from the Little Dragon. You just annihilated it out there. <laughs> so I interviewed you a few years back uh, at the Natural History Museum. How has things changed as far as like audience growth? Like, how does it feel to be in front of all these thousands? Of we worked really hard. Been touring nonstop, and it's amazing to you know get the opportunity to play at a big festival like this. You know, we really feel really grateful. It's fun. Yeah. We love it. So you have all these thousands of people here. Do you ever feel the need to want to translate to them your personal views or try to in some way like sway them towards any kind of way? When you're up there and you're kind of being yourself and what you're doing, I think that you are actually saying more than what you think. Like even if you're just not even intentionally trying to be political or anything, you're always saying something. I think your music and, and whatever energy says more than maybe like saying I'm against so and so. Thanks for joining us here on the Urban Legends EDM Weekly on CoolFlame.com. Check back with us every Thursday for more news, reviews, and interviews. And the best of EDM, electronic dance music, and beyond. Have a great weekend.